This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. I used Squarespace to build both Basics with Babish and BingingWithBabish.com. On the sites, you'll find recipes, equipment lists, other news, and updates. All beautifully designed, if I do say so myself. Get 10% off your first Squarespace order by visiting Squarespace.com slash Babish. Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Anything with Alvin, where this week we're going to be making Korean pizza toast, which seems to be a pretty delicious snack served on the streets of Korea, and I've also watched it in many other videos I've seen. It's a variation on kyukori toast, or literally translated to street toast, popularly served with cabbage, eggs, and a multitude of delicious topics, making it a quick, easy, cheap, but delicious snack. Since this is a pizza version, we'll start by going ahead to take out the sausage from the casing, making sure to get the meat out into one little pile, and then cracking and seasoning our eggs. About six eggs together well beaten, with some salt and some pepper, set that off to the side, and go ahead and grate about one whole cup of shredded low moisture mozzarella cheese. Now in the video they're using quite a number of sauces on the toast, and there seems to be a green one that we're not really sure what that is. Now assuming that this kind of goes along with the pizza vibe, let's just make a honey pesto sauce. I'm adding honey because typically in Korean cuisine it's common to find sugar, and I honestly think this would taste pretty good with it. Now that we've filled our spilling quota for the video, we're going to go ahead and start browning our sausage in a pan, just until it's cooked and into small little chunks. Luckily we have a flat top that we're able to replicate the sort of street style cooking on. We're gonna go ahead and take this and butter the whole entire surface, keeping the heat to a medium low to toast some bread. We're gonna go ahead and throw down four slices of nicely fluffy milk bread that we're able to acquire from a local bakery, and two of these square molds that they seem to be using in making a lot of this kilkuti toast in the videos. First we're gonna put some of our egg mixture into our square molds and let that sort of set before we start to add a little bit more toppings. I have here a spoonful of corn followed by a little bit of that crumbled sausage. Then we're going to start adding some cheese on top, followed by a couple of slices of pepperoni, as they did in the video. Once that's all done, we're going to flip all the bread to see that we have a nice golden toast on everybody. To mirror the vendor in the video, we're going to squeeze a little drizzle or swiggle of marinara sauce first, followed by our honey pesto sauce, and then use a spatula to try to carefully remove the egg square from the mold, because the egg isn't fully cooked through and the cheese has started to melt. But once you're able to get that out, flip it over to cook the egg on the other side, and kind of tuck those edges in to make sure that nothing really spills. Out. Once the patties are nice and set, we give the other side a good look. That's going to go and stack directly on the bread. And in the video, they seem to add what seems to be either a relish or some onion condiment. We're not really sure exactly what it is, so we opted for relish. To finish up, they get a drizzle of QP mayo and then a nice couple leaves of crunchy cabbage, which seems to be the unique ingredient in this dish. Once we're all done here, those get stacked up with their top bun or top piece of bread wrapped up in a piece of parchment paper and served to me. Now, going into this, I wasn't actually sure what this was going to taste like. This pretty much had everything besides the kitchen sink in it, but as I was eating it, it actually kind of blew my mind about how delicious and balanced everything was. Usually a lot of street foods or foods like this can be pretty heavy but delicious that you can't really eat too much of it, but this thing was actually so good that we finished it within like two minutes. It has crunch, it has seasoning, it has salt, it has sugar, it has flavor, it has aroma, it has bread, it has meat, it has cheese, it has eggs, it's, it's an all-in-one. Well, good thing we made two though, so one, we could show you guys a nice little cross-section here. Pretty good layers we got going on. And it was so good that I needed to make sure that Steve and Rachel could also experience this. You can't hear it, but they're also exclaiming in surprise about how much they enjoyed this thing. We've made a lot of delicious things on the show, but I will say as far as delicious and balanced, at least health-wise, this feels like the pinnacle of both. Everything just works. Now, while making this toast, I had a lot of ideas about what other variations we could make, as this has so many ways that you can eat it in Korea. So let's just make some other versions. Rachel requested a bacon, egg, and cheese because she would like to eat that tomorrow and save some for later, so we're gonna do exactly that. We got some bacon that we're gonna throw onto the flat top and crisp up into smaller, more manageable pieces so that they're not huge, long strips. We're gonna take that out and add a little bit more butter to toast our leftover slices of bread. Now, in our square egg patty situation, we're gonna go ahead and ladle some of our egg mixture in, and this time use a slice of American cheese, which fits so satisfyingly well in this square mold. After that goes in, we're gonna add a good helping of bacon to each of those, and on the toasted bread, instead of our marinara 
marinara and pesto sauce, we found some ketchup and some nice hot sauce in the fridge, which is really good in a bacon, egg, and cheese if you've never had it before. Then the egg patties come out, get a nice flip to sizzle on the other side. We're gonna go ahead and stack those right on top of our bread. Instead of mayo and cabbage, we're just gonna finish with mayo and black pepper, as we didn't want the cabbage to wilt too much by the next day. Now these are ready, they're gonna come off the grill. And we also made some extra pizza toast with all the extra ingredients that we had. So at the end of the day, we have a lot of sandwiches to make sure that we pack home for everybody to take. And now I will leave you with a cross section of our bacon, egg, and cheese toast. Definitely a more Western American version of this style, but all in all, I'm say really, really happy with the result of this. There's a lot of different variations you could do at home. And I think the key to this is having a nice baked pan and that little square mold that could really make sandwiches like this super satisfying and fun. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. They've been a great partner in supporting the Babish Culinary Universe and bringing my websites to life. From websites to online stores to domains and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for you to build your online presence. They also have SEO tools so that your site is getting found and searched by more people more often. If you want to try it for yourself, you can start your free trial today by visiting squarespace.com babish to get 10% off your first purchase.